The most fundamental mistake we make when building with AI is treating it like it can read our minds. Imagine asking your best friend to cook your grandma's recipe without giving them the ingredients, without showing them a picture, or without even telling them if it's supposed to be sweet or savory. You're not going to like what they make. AI is no different. It has no idea what your design system looks like, what's in your code base, or how you name things. So naturally, you end up frustrated with what it builds. The way to fix this is called context engineering. It's the art of giving AI all the background information it needs to build things correctly. The thing is, you already have everything the AI needs. So today, using Fusion as our AI tool, I'm going to show you seven levels of context engineering. Basically, seven different ways to give AI the exact context it needs to build things the way you build them. All right, let's start with the most obvious context that we think is okay to ignore, your actual code base. You've spent months, maybe years, building your product. You've got components, utility functions, specific ways you handle authentication, and your own naming conventions. You've already solved a bunch of problems in your code. But you ask AI to add a modal, and it builds a brand new modal from scratch with random Tailwind classes. Meanwhile, you already have a modal component sitting right there in your components folder. This is exactly what I mean by AI being blind. It can't see your UI components, your utility functions, or your design tokens. It doesn't know you use material UI or how you structure your files. You might think it's okay because you're using AI to build things that don't exist yet, but the more context you give AI, the better it can build things. With Fusion, this is as simple as connecting to your project repo with a single click. Every prompt you run will have your code base available as context. So the first level of context engineering is simple. Give AI your actual code as context. Let it see what building things your way actually looks like. But code is only half the story. What about the visual side? That brings us to level two, your Figma designs. Whether it's you or your design team, there's probably a Figma file somewhere with every detail figured out, every spacing value, every color, every interaction state. But when you tell AI, build this settings page, you get a generic form with random spacing and colors that vaguely resembles what was designed. A Figma file is a specification. It has exact spacing values, color tokens, typography scale, the relationships between elements, and that's context gold. With Fusion, you simply share the Figma design and say, implement this settings page. It reads your actual design tokens, understands how things are structured, and builds it exactly as designed. So level two of context engineering is giving AI your visual truth. Those Figma designs are context that tells AI what to build and exactly how it should look. So we have covered your code and your designs. But what about when you see something online and think, I want that for our product? That is level three, web inspiration as context. You see how Stripe does their pricing table or how Linear organizes their roadmap, and you try to describe it to AI. After 10 minutes of prompting, it still doesn't look right. The actual layout is right there on your screen, but your AI can't see it. With Fusion, you can use the Builder Chrome extension and grab that exact section from any website. You then tell AI to add it to your site, adapting it to your design system. It rebuilds it using your components, your design tokens, and your patterns be inspired by great patterns and make them uniquely yours. So level three of context engineering is using web inspiration as visual context. Show AI exactly what you want instead of trying to describe it. All right, we have given AI what exists, your code, your designs, inspirations from the web. But there's something else that matters just as much. Your rules and standards, also known as custom instructions. That is level four. Every team has these unwritten rules. For designers, that could be about border radius or the size of touch targets. For devs, it could be never using inline styles or enforcing a specific naming convention, the stuff you would tell a new team member on their first day. With AI, you're basically onboarding a new team member every single time. So you keep repeating the instructions over and over, which is exhausting. With Fusion, you can set these custom instructions at the project level and every prompt automatically follows your rules. AI just remembers 
That is how you build things. So level four is setting your standards as permanent context. Tell AI your rules once and it follows them every time. Level five is file attachments. Now, attaching files to AI isn't exactly new anymore, but it's still a crucial part of context engineering that people often forget. Think about all the different contexts living in your files, your PM's PRD with every requirement, CSV files with actual data that AI can turn into charts or tables, JSON files with your API responses, design documentation with all your edge cases. Instead of copy pasting bits and pieces, hoping you got everything important, you can just give AI the whole thing. With Fusion, you can attach a PRD with a simple prompt to go along with it. It reads every requirement, every constraint, every edge case, and builds the feature without missing any details. So level five is remembering to use your files as context. Give AI the complete picture instead of trying to summarize it yourself. Now files give AI the big picture, but sometimes you need to be surgical. You need to point at one specific thing and say, change this. That is level six, element selection as context. You have a perfectly good page, but you need to change one component, maybe add more color options to a product card or update the navigation menu. With prompts alone, you will struggle. You can see the exact element on your screen, but AI is guessing based on your description. With Fusion, you click on the exact element you want to change in the visual editor and then tell AI what to do with it. AI knows exactly what you're talking about because you're literally pointing at it. So level six is using visual selection as context. Instead of describing where something is, just point at it. Now there's one final level that brings it all together with real data. MCP servers as context. MCP servers are connections to your real data sources, your Postgres database, your REST APIs, your Superbase tables. AI can actually read and write to these systems. When you connect an MCP server in Fusion and say, create a newsletter signup that saves to our database, Fusion builds the form, creates the necessary tables if they don't exist, and connects everything directly to Superbase. Your UI is functional from day one. You can also pull chill content like product reviews with real ratings and user data straight from your database. That is level seven. Now what makes context so powerful is that it compounds. The more context you give, the better it builds. So the next time you're using AI tools, think about these seven levels and use as many as you can. You will be amazed at the difference it makes. Fusion is free to try and you can get started by clicking the link in the description.